surgical, clinical, masterful, vengeful. AJ, what else can you describe this performance? Zero Gone came out motivated, relaxed as ever, and in Bon Gamin fashion, he broke down Sergei Spivak in a way that felt malicious, but at the same time kind. What did you make of this matchup, man? I like the way you uh, you phrased that there, Derek. Surgical, tactful, but vengeful. That last little bit that we haven't, or we haven't seen that last little bit out of Sergio Gone yet. He's always been the kind guy. He's always been the classic, just normal striker there to have some fun, there to battle, but never really mad at you or looking to hurt you very viciously, right? Well, that changed all this week with Sergey Spivak, man. He literally was out there to prove a message, prove that he is the one going forward with ultimate damage and ultimate power. Nonetheless, the skills he already presented before i like this new and it's not a bad guy arc of Cyril Gan. no no means is he going to turn heel anytime soon but i like this little bit of spice he's having on him do you think this carries on further into his future or fight future derek i think that his success will increase dramatically if he adds a little more venom into his approach to fighting right just because he, I think that's also the reason he's good, though, is because he's so relaxed. And so I don't care about hurting you so I can be locked into my flow state, right? I think that's where he's at. But when you can tell, right, once he starts sensing the kill, the feet start getting set. The shots start thudding a little bit harder. The, the standing hammer fists come out to the back of the head damn near, right? All the little things to say, get out of here, bro. I'm proving a point. And I think that Cyril Gaon felt disrespected in this matchup, given the narrative behind it. Sergey Spivak, who is an impressive Sambo fighter, impressive grappler, um, and once he can get you down and he can hold you there, like you're in trouble, right? But as I had mentioned, man, he's not John Jones. He doesn't present the same threat on the feet that will allow him to get as close as he needs to be to have success against Gaon. And I think that he just kind of wanted to put that on full display, that there are indeed levels to this. AJ, what level is Cyril Gaon at? Is he in a class of his own? He's clearly not John Jones type there, but is he like 1A, 1B? Like, where, where are we at here? If we're going classic tier ranking, Derek, John Jones is the ultimate S tier. He is at the top, but Cyril yeah. Gaon is right there, man. Mm. A, A class all day long. And I think what you were talking, or I, I liked what you were saying with the way he kind of needed to prove a point for this one. He is proven that there are, there are levels to this game and that he is improving his own level to get up there. The first time Cyril, uh, Sergey Spivak shot for a takedown, when Cyril Gaon sprawled, he did it with authority. Not only mm. did he just sprawl out, he made sure that uh, Sergey Spivak's head hit the ground very hard hard to prove hey you don't you can't get in close on me like that and the rest of the fight sure enough man Spivak was shooting from about five feet out seeing gone was seeing everything is very impressive for him I'd give him that a mark Derek what about you do you think he's been climbing that ladder or is he still a little bit below a well, the thing that we've seen is that the two guys who are at the pinnacle, Francis Ngannou and John Jones, were the kryptonite for a Cyril Gaon, right? However, once we started seeing him being matched up with literally everybody else, it just, it's not even close, right? So my question becomes, there, there might be a new tier that kind of gets involved here because we haven't forgot about Tom Aspinall and his rise as well. And he's right there saying, I want the winner of these two guys. If it's Cyril Gaon versus Tom Aspinall next, I think that's when we kind of figure out. Aside from the S tier, if there was a tier between s and a like those guys the winner of that matchup they would be firmly cemented right there would you agree i think we call that the hybrid tier derek especially <laughs> because tiro gone and tom aspinall are both those new form hybrid heavyweight kind of fighters i'm excited for that fight man i really do hope they lead that one up tom aspinall has been on a rise cyril gone now kind of faltering a little bit but still on the track to be uh, to seeing that gold I don't know. This would, this would be a fun one. Maybe Tom Aspinall gets it done. We'll see. The speed of Gone always is very concerning. But at the same time, Tom Aspinall has the speed as well. That's going to be a very fun fight. This is going to be a really fun fight here in the future, man. And I just wanted to point out one more thing. When it comes down to like these matchups, right? Cyril Gaon has this way of just, it's like almost like Groundhog Day. It's the same thing time and time again. He's breaking you down. He's beating up the body. And these guys have no answers for it. And I think that the real knack that he has is that he overloads his opponent with so much data, right? He hits you. So it's going to be that little like side push kick into the knee, kind of oblique kick, calf kick, teep to the body. I'm going to throw something up top. I'm. It's like, at a certain point, uh, Spivak is like, do I guard my body? Do I guard my head? If I guard my body, I'm going to get knocked, kicked in my head and knocked out. And these guys just don't have an answer for it. So until we see a guy with an answer like a Tom Aspinall, I just think that leave all these guys alone. Let them all be in championship tier and everybody else just watch out because the heavyweight division is flourishing at the top right now, I would say. But with that being said, AJ, that was the main event.